Wait a minute. So, I just have started recording this in class. Listen carefully to this to the explanation. So, do you know the difference between bored and boring? Do you know the difference between the both adjectives? No, I thought you don't know the difference between both of them. So, look here, look at these pictures. He, who's this? Who's this? Do you know who's this? Who's this? What's his name? What's his name? Bob. What? Bob. I don't know his name, but I thought it, it's, a, it's a toy, huh? A toy. And he is what? It's from Minimize. Minimize, aha. Uh -huh. Like, what's his name? From Minimize, Lihim. I didn't miss there is about 1,000. One, one I will not like, find him. I he, he, I think it's him. Listen, 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 listen. He is poor. He is poor. Look at these girls. They are poor. They are poor. Uh -huh. They are poor. Uh, look, teacher, what is the difference between boring? How can I use them in the sentence? How, if I want to say that, where should I use more than boring? The correct use of more than boring, okay? So, look at these examples to see how adjectives in different sounding things are used. Yalla, I want someone to read the first example. Zed, read the first example. I was really bored. 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 I was really Okay, right now, Zed. Zed, please read the first example. Again, yeah. Okay. Read the first. I was really, I was really bored in that Pres pre presentation. 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 I was really bored in that presentation. I was really bored. So notice, here bored is an adjective. So we use it to describe the mood of me. How was I in the presentation? I was really bored. Aha. Uh -huh. So the next example is it. Read it. That was a really boring pr uh -huh. presentation. That was a really boring presentation. Aha. Uh -huh. Here I am describing what? Describing the presentation itself. Presentation is what? Is a thing. Or we are talking about presentation. It's an uh, abstract or concrete name. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so we here describing a, the presentation, not uh, what you feel or what anyone's feel. So the difference between this, the word adjective or the adjective bored and the adjective boring, that the first one, the first one we use it, it's used when I want to talk about what I feel, what I feel or what anybody feels, what anybody feels, how anybody feels. But 
The adjective that ends with ing sound, we use it when we want to describe something, okay? So, here, see the, the adjective that end in ed for interesting and adjective that ends are often confused, okay? So, you're gonna sometimes be a little bit confused. Which one is the correct one to, uh, to use it? Is it right to say I am boring? Is it no. right to say I am boring? No, it's yeah. wrong. I am bored. I am bored. So, notice here, it's written in your notebook, in your learner's book. Do you see your book in front of you? Yes. Wait a minute. I want to share it with you. So, look at the blue box. Look at the blue box. Please, Farid, read the blue box. Use of English. Please, Farid. Yeah, I miss. Come on, read okay. the box here. Are you are you used to describe how who people feel? So it's written yeah. here. Welcome. It's written here that ed adjectives such as what interested, a board. And are you? Used and you was, they are used to describe what? How people feel. How people feel. People how feel. you feel. How I feel. How they feel. Okay? So, one more time. ED adjectives. We use them to describe how people feel. Okay? So, next one. Ink adjective. The, the adjectives that ends with ink sound, ink sound, like boring, amazing, exciting, interesting, and so on. Okay, so they are used to what? To describe, describe focus, describe things and situations. To describe things and situations. So it's too easy, the difference between the adjective ends with ed and ing sound. Ed adjective use them what to describe people, how they feel, and ing ing adjective the adjective that ends with ing sound. We use them to describe what to describe things and situations. Okay, for example, I have mm, this book. It's a story, okay? It's a story about Cinderella. Pretend that this is a story, okay? So, I want to describe this book that it's what? It's bored or boring. Is it bored or boring? Which one is the correct? Which one? Boring. boring. Yeah, it's right. Boring. Because it's a what? A thing, not people. Uh -huh. if, if I want to say that I, I, if you want to describe me, you're going to say you are bored or boring? Bored. Bored. Zed. Zed. Bored. No. No, bored, bored. Again, one more time, we use adjective that ends with ed to ascribe people, people, and ing, adjective, the, the adjective ends with ing, we use them to describe things. This book is boring. This book is boring. This book is interesting. Okay? So, Look at these examples here. Look at these examples. The first one, I'm going to do it for you, okay? I am, huh? Again, again, again. Choose the correct form of the adjectives, okay? We want to choose the correct answer. First one, I am, when I get good results in my English tests, because I'm not good at it. 
Amazing or amazed? Which one is the correct one? Yalla ya Farid. Amazing or amazed? Farid. Amazing? No, amazed. Amazed. Why? Look at this box. Look here. We use ED adjective yeah. to describe whom? People or things? We use them to describe people. So I is what? I. Are you thing? Are you thing or are people? Or people? Are you? People. Are you thing? Okay, so I, I what? I am amazed. I am amazed. Okay, Miss.